Parkinson's disease. All I knew about it was that it was a neurological disease and it wasn't good. But after 10 years of living with it, I know one thing, it's a fight every day. She was having trouble with her leg kind of dragging. She's never had any tremors. Her main problem is her feet freezing in movement. Because I had Parkinson's and it was not going to get better, I had quit my job. I had a tendency toward depression anyway. And so I found that, uh, that this kind of affected that. I felt like I um, wasn't my old self quite. And the speech therapist is the one that recognized the uh, kind of frozen facial look. And she felt that it could be Parkinson's. Parkinson's is a neurodegenerative disease. That means that it's a disease where parts of the brain uh, begin to die off. And those cells are involved in the timing circuits in the center of our brain and hence why we develop trouble with those timings. Things like slowness, tremor, and the rigidity are all uh, interruptions in our ability to time our movements. The disease is peculiar, unique to everyone and the rate of progression is greatly different with people. Those differences vary from a light tremor in your hand to, to not being able to swallow or even having early dementia. It's a lot for the mind to take in when you're first diagnosed. The mind reels and all you want to do is get away from it all. When I was first diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, it was hard. I wanted to just stay home. I was 36 years old and I have young children and I just wanted to stay home because my girlfriends were taking their kids to the pool and you know going on hikes and I couldn't really do that and it felt very lonely. So when I found out about CARD to do support groups and to get information on new treatments, it really empowered me to live a better life and to be able to still be a mom. Exercise is critical, I think, for Parkinson's disease. Um, the thing that PAR has done there has been to make exercise situations available for Parkinson's folks at little or no cost. It's really a very wonderful thing. Exercise, by the way, is one of the proven treatments for Parkinson's, can actually slow the progression of Parkinson's. And you find you have more encouragement to go for a walk, because now I know I'm strong enough to walk better. With newly diagnosed, you get literature to find out what's going on, that you can live a quality life, and uh, that's important. As the years go by, joining a support group is very, very important, I think, to a lot of people because you find out you're not the Lone Ranger. Support groups are, are one of the absolute most important things we do. The support groups are an amazing help to me, and I think also to a lot of other people. They support about 50 or so support groups up and down the Front Range, uh, up into Wyoming. And the issue that we sort of stay with is, what do you need to do in order to become better in your acceptance of Parkinson's disease? What do you need to do in order to be leading a more wholesome life, a stronger life, a life that has uh, an optimistic view about the future? Par putting on those support groups was a big benefit for me. I'm positive it was because you shared common interests with other caregivers and how they coped and it gave you some insight but somehow knowing that there are people around the city around the area that are fighting this as well and quite successfully is very upbeat for me very enriching Parkinson's is uh, the most common of all the neurogenic disorders, affecting one in 300 people. The Parkinson's Association of the Rockies organization has been here serving the needs of people here and now. It's a worthwhile organization, very worthwhile. I can't tell you how many times people have come into the office literally crying and saying, thank you, you helped so much you have no idea. PAR is a, is a, is a way for people to get help, to, to keep going, to keep positive, and just live the good life as best you can. It's not a horrible thing to have a tremor. It's not a horrible thing that your handwriting isn't very clear. It's not a horrible thing that you walk more slowly than you used to. I'm not going to die. I'm going to deal with it. Parkinson's is not you. It's a disease you have. When somebody's newly diagnosed, I would tell them, don't worry about it, because there's nothing that you can do about it. You just have to learn to live with it. Day at a time. Day at a time.